Hi, I'm going to assess your apical pulse rate today, which means that I'll be listening to your heart for a full minute. Is that okay? Yes. Great. Let's move your gown down. Thank you. So in order to find the correct landmark, I start by looking at the patient's and palpating the patient's clavicle. The first rib actually lies right underneath that first clavicle. So if I run my fingers across or over that clavicle, I find the soft spot in between, which is the first intercostal space. Then I march down and I find the second rib here. So here is my second rib, and then I find my second intercostal space, then my third rib and my third intercostal space, my fourth rib and my fourth intercostal space, fifth rib and fifth intercostal space. So now I know that horizontally here I have the correct line. And then regarding the vertical assessment, I'm looking at the midclavicular line. So again, I'm looking at the clavicle and right in the middle of it, which is approximately here, I run it down and I find the axis between the two. And then so here I have my PMI. And if I actually press my fingers on it, I might be able to palpate the patient's PMI. And again, remember, depending on the patient's physical build, you may or may not be able to palpate it. In this case, I can actually feel it. And I know that my patient actually has a slow heart rate, so it's a little bit more difficult to assess. But I know that this is the correct landmark to assess my apical pulse. So I take my stethoscope and I place it right there on that apical site. And I listen to it for a full minute while I count it. After I'm done counting for a full minute, I know that this is my patient's apical heart rate and I take care of my patient by getting them dressed. And then I am done with my assessment and I will go ahead and record my findings.